Champions League. And now they've booked a spot in the Champions League. Uh, and another team like uh, Brighton, Brighton and Hove Albion, which, which have, they, they have secured a Europa League spot for the first time since the team was started. I think uh, it, it has been a good season to them, especially to their coach, uh, Roberto De Zarbi, who has been, every now and then, he's been working hard and uh, beating the top teams. I think the only teams, the only team which has, uh, the only team from the top six spot or the big six, which have scooped points from Brighton is only Manchester City. Yeah, it's only Manchester City. And uh, on the other end, teams like Brentford, uh, which have <laughs> which have smashed Manchester City both home and away. Uh, I think the this season has been their best. Indeed, it has been a good season for them. But uh, we can't forget Manchester United too, and Newcastle United, especially Newcastle United, uh, fighting from the relegation zone last season up to uh, booking a Champions League spot. It has been a good season to them. And uh, I think the Champions League next season, Premier League will have some new faces. The likes, uh, the European champion competitions will have new faces, the likes of uh, Brighton and Hove Albion, which the likes of Newcastle. We used to see Manchester City, Manchester United, uh, the likes of Liverpool and Tottenham have been playing the Champions League almost every season. Uh, but now we have new teams. And uh, on top of that, we also have new teams eh? in the Champions League finals. Manchester City is their second time uh, from England, that is from the Premier League, Manchester City, and also the Conference League. England is being represented with uh by i think uh yeah by west ham united so this season uh premier league has been uh, quite fascinating especially the last 28 days of the league or by manchester city won the league by staying at the top uh, top of the table for 28 days and winning the league while arsenal have been on top of the table for almost 200 and something days. I think uh, it has been a good season for most of the teams, but bad season for Southampton and the likes of Leicester City, who are the champions 2015-2016, and also Leeds United. Leeds United have been also struggling this season, but I think when they put more effort in the championship, next season they'll be coming back hopefully next season but one anyway i'm waiting for your comments guys tell me which team has impressed you and there is this question i'm posing it to you um, i need you to tell me or comment uh, in the comment section below which team uh, between manchester united and arsenal which team has uh, which team had a successful season? Is it Arsenal? Is it Manchester United? Remember, Arsenal had seven years out of the Champions League, but now they're back in the Champions League. Manchester United have finished uh, third, and also Manchester United have won the EFL, the Carabao Cup. So I want you to tell me, if... Uh, Manchester City with the FA Cup and Manchester United have won the Carabao Cup and Arsenal have finished second. Which team had a success, a success, a successful season? Talk to me. I'll be waiting for you. It's your guy, Jimmy. It's your boy, Jimmy Tatus. And guys, don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to comment. Bye bye. See you next time. <laughs> Mm. No. And for the